Damn. That's some tight shit. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Corolla Customs. And on this episode, we're gonna be working on the front end of my 2004 Chevy Avalanche. Let's go. An eternity later. Somebody didn't want that coming off again. Oh, Jesus. First, we remove all six of our axle bolts. Using a mallet and a punch, I knock the tip of my CV axle till it comes loose. Now, for more room clearance, I work on removing my end links. I use my hammer and carefully knock the end of my axle to fully remove it. Use a pry bar to remove your seal. What a Use a slide hammer to remove your diff bearing. Now use a bearing installation tool to install your new bearings. Alrighty guys, so I hope you enjoyed that episode that I just made there. I'm sorry it was cut short. So here's what happened, let me intervene a little bit. The camera battery had died. It was my last day in New Jersey, so I had to get that truck finished. I ended up finishing it around 10, 11 p.m. and my flight was out early the next morning. So I didn't have enough time. I didn't even go to charge the camera. I just said, screw it, let me get it done. Um, but I will leave a link in the description below of the rear of the truck that I did the same exact job that I did in the front. Now I showed you guys how to pull it off. Hopefully you guys have some good memory and is pretty good hands on that you can reverse the process and put it all back together. I do apologize, like I said, if you have any questions about it, just leave the comments in the comment section below and I will help you out every possible step of the way that I could. And um, yeah, but if you guys are skilled enough to remove it, then you're definitely skilled enough to put it back in. And I normally don't make my videos half, half weird like this. I kind of, I always try to make it full so you guys can see the beginning and the end of the process and know what goes on. But yeah, unfortunately, I really only have one camera. This camera died. Eventually, I'm looking to upgrade this camera so I can get something newer with longer battery life and a lot better quality, but cameras are very expensive. So until the channel starts bringing in enough revenue where I can actually splurge, on getting a camera i'll definitely do so because cost of living and whatever i i just don't have time to getting a new camera until youtube starts picking up for me unless you all want to donate some something, something over here so i can get the camera that'd be cool too but anyway thank you for watching 
and stay tuned for my next videos i got the volkswagen project coming up which i have to do work on but right now i put that off to the side because i'm doing the dodge ram project and that one is a complete rebuild from bottom to top frame everything so you guys will see that firsthand and uh yeah that video is coming out soon so i will see y'all later peace